Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's SwissMan15 and welcome back to turn number 9 of the Swiss Manian Empire. Well, that's actually, it's a Swiss Mod Hot Seat where we play as the Swiss Manian Empire, but you know, you know, you know. We're gonna go straight into this turn, because I already know what I'm gonna do with everything, it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna accept this guy, his name is Trifilios Rogerios. Trifilios Rogerios. Um, a benefactor despot Alexis. Um, he's pretty handsome, he's religious, good for him. Decent commander, social drinker, so good for him. We will accept that. And for the end of turn report, the Dutch Empire is still top militarily, even though they've been at war with the uh, Desert Hobos, which seemingly have fallen off the map. I guess I could can't even imagine what happened between them. Uh, the Northmen are now third financial or first financially. We are third, so that's not too too bad. We are first in production population and production which is only going to go up after we take Teddy Roosevelt and oh we are second overall wow that really shot up after we took uh, Bismarck and Augustus and now we're going to be taking Teddy Roosevelt so let us do that quite immediately we're going to go right here put this guy in the army and get these three horses and we're just going to assault Clear victory, lose 193 men, which is quite substantial, but, you know, we still got 475. And we're gonna bang a few heads on our way in, get the monies. Okay, so, I know what I want to do is build a fort, which is right about here where I want this fort to be built. Starting with this guy, I think it's right here. Um, I'm pretty sure this is where I want my fort. Like, I'm fairly certain this is where I want the fort. Yes. I want this navy right about there. Yes, Let strike, Let's just build the fort. Get our spy inside, so now we have a... This is going to be our defensive fort, I hope you know. Oh, okay, we get free upkeep in forts, that's awesome. Should build all the forts in the world. I didn't even know that in my own mod. <laughs> okay, so we're going to grab what units we can, like this unit is going to join us there, that unit as well, I don't know why only some of them can go the distance, wait, what, did I just, I thought, I, okay, uh, peasants could make it, peasants probably going to stay back, you two can join this defensive army which is currently not even like, close to scary. Despot Ale or Basilius Constantine. Um, he will not be part of the defense army. This will leave it under Basil de Salina. Um, we'll probably get more troops for him in time. Just sort of, this will be the beginning defensive army. This army is going to move out next turn among upon that ship. We're going to send this fleet down here to pick up this spy. That'll be good. Uh, we got ships all over this island. Um, this fleet will go here, pick up these guys. We'll join here, disembark over here, and head down to Hamilton with the support of these men. So both of them can reach next turn and besiege Hamilton. In which case, here we're going to build these two and build some farms, I think, just for population, money, and all. Uh, over here, we're gonna besiege Sun Tzu, and we're gonna get Despot Alexis into that besieging army and leave Trifilius Rogerios right here in Augustus, just keeping watch. Can't build anything here, I just got a message. I'll check that afterward. Um, can't build anything here yet. In Cavour, we want to build some dirt roads, which is good. Oh, in Wilson, we want to recruit. We want to recruit these troops. In Teddy Roosevelt, I want to build, well, one thing, repair the wall that we destroyed, increase the tax rate, and build this Ballista Maker, which will be awesome. Pretty sure we had an agent. Oh yes, we have a priest here. What is the 37% or Orthodox, 33 over here. We need to build up some Orthodoxy. Um, it's pretty happy under high tax rate. And these are more important cities, but which is under greater threat. Hmm. Hmm. 
155. Yeah, this one doesn't need it. Right now we just need the priest here. Uh, Kavor, seemingly the same. Yeah, we got tons of happiness. We can even go to like a very high tax rate in both of these and get some real monies coming in. Um, over here, I think I want to build these troops, but I'm kind of looking back on that and actually deciding maybe to get this here and only one of these troops, which seems fine. That way you get some more quality on this side. Some really good troops to join up with, um, wow, Osimopolis of Osidravikin. I, I completely butchered that. That was awful. That was god-awful. Um, okay, that's good. So when we need it, we'll just send one of these uh, ships over to pick up this priest, send them over here, hopefully. Um, we'll get this agent over onto this land, and I kind of want to build a brothel here, but apparently that is not going to happen at all. Um, we're going to get 4,800 next turn, which is a wonderful bit to increase by, and now we have a really good, I really like our situation with these islands under our control. Too bad Napoleon is taken by the Imperials, and we can't really go in there, the Northmen, that is. Um, hmm. So we'll just send up our diplomat. He's gonna go there. Hold on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's many hours later because again, I always have my roommate walking in, and it's not his fault. I um, I can't like will him not to. That'd be terrible and mean of me. So I just want to quickly finish the recording. I think we've done everything that we want to do. We've made all the movements. Actually, no, we haven't. We gotta move this guy. Also, I apologize for the cut. I think there's a town somewhere down this road. Haha. -ha. I want to get with the Moors. Oh, not that. Map information. Um, I don't really want to fight them at any point, and they're currently at war with the Venetians, which is in my interest because they're a very powerful faction that I don't want to be fighting. So I want him to do that for me. Um, and I don't want him to attack me should I be fighting with any of these other players that I don't know where it's going to go because I'm still currently at war with the peace and love, but I don't know, Russia's expansionist, or maybe the HRE decides he's going to come after me instead. I have no idea what the intentions of any of them are, but I just know that out of all people, I don't want to fight the Moors because he's doing me a good service over here. Um, I also like the, the nice area we have. It's very pretty, very pretty. Um, let's just go and see the stats. So <laughs> look at us, nice tops and turvy, up, down, up. Okay. So let's get everyone inside. So we have uh, now surpassed a lot of people. Now that we have Teddy Roosevelt as a region, we should definitely be going a little, even a little bit higher. Um, the Lionheart's doing very well as well. They have this huge area under their control. And I think they declared war on peace and love. They did. So everyone's at war with peace and love, apparently. <laughs> and then Russia, I think, did Russia... Oh yeah, Russia's at war with peace and love as well, so everyone's going after peace and love. So um, I, I really don't envy him at this point in time. Um, HRE is coming back now that he has Niccolo, which is a really awesome city to own, very rich. Or, I mean, uh, not Niccolo, but Napoleon. N Niccolo's over here. Um, so basically, yeah, we're doing pretty good. Everyone's very close up here besides the Northmen, but we have just a little bit of an edge and the Lionheart's a little bit higher than everyone else. Um, we are in pretty low militarily. We don't have the best units, uh, apparently, so we definitely want to start increasing our military size and power and capability. But that's coming along with economics. We're just going to wait and bide our time since people are sort of encroaching on peace and love. We can sort of use our time to build up a little bit more, get Sun Tzu and get Hamilton under our grip and really own this coast before we make any other moves, or maybe even go down here and just sort of ignore fighting people, just take this area. Um, I don't really know. Um, so that's good. Production-wise, no one really cares. Territory, you are now second territory. You are up at eight, I think. Wait, really? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we have nine. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, nine. So yeah, it hasn't counted the uh, Teddy Roosevelt yet, so that's good. And Russia's going down, so someone took something from him, which is probably peace and love. Maybe he declared the war, I don't even know. Um, I don't know, peace and love hasn't gone up. Or maybe it was Venice? No, Venice isn't at war with him. So it's hard to say Atria's going back up, so 
Yeah, everyone's doing pretty good, but Adriano down at two. Everyone else is very clustered between f six and eight right now, while we're at nine. And Russia's now back down to eleven, it seems. Um, financially, the Northmen have found a flat line financially because they're starting to build stuff. But uh, you know, it's good for them because you know he needs to build stuff and he can really build up Napoleon to be a great city. Northmen getting tons of money given their territory and just not having a massive military in comparison to us. I don't think. Uh, actually, let's go back and check. How much do they have? Yeah, not too, too much more than us. But they do still get more money because they have so many regions, and really wealthy regions like Niccolo, which gives you tons of cash, no sh doubt. Venice is still f struggling financially just with his really big and expensive military, and Russia's going down and down. He's got poor regions, and he's really widespread, so it must be hard to maintain such. Uh, population <laughs> where me and the uh, English skyrocketing after taking some big places like Sun Tzu and Bismarck and he took Niccolo which huge populations uh, Teddy Roosevelt's also pretty large or fairly large so just keeping an eye on all that um, and that's everything everything so thank you all for watching like comment and subscribe I just want to actually check what's the population over here not s said so wait do we really have that many Populous places. I mean, these are only these are only two thousands on this island, which isn't that much. Suleiman still being the most populous over here. Yeah, population. It's good, good gauge on how much money you can make off taxation, really. So, um, yeah, I think that's all good. Let's just end the turn here, and I'll see you all, guys, in the next episode. Goodbye, my friends.